In the previous video, I did not give an example how to convert a string to its base58 value. In this video, I will demonstrate how this is done. In the first demonstration, I will base58 encode the word cat with a capital C. I've written the word cat over here. These are the corresponding ASCII decimal values. If you look at this column, the values 0, 1, and 2 refers to the index position. This is index position 0, 1, and 2. 0 times 8 is 0, 1 times 8 is 8, and 2 times 8 is 16, and 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 8 is 256, and 2 to the power of 16 is 65,536. Then you multiply both values. The multiplication results can be found in this column. If you add these three values together, you will get this value. The word cat in decimal representation is this value. In this slide, you will see again the decimal representation of the word cat. If you take this decimal representation and write it over here, then you divide it by 58 because we are doing a base 58 encoding, which equals this value and this is remainder. Then you take this value, place it over here, and divide it by 58. It equals this value and this is its remainder. You take this value again, put it over here, divide it by 58. It equals 22 and this is its remainder. Again, this value, place it over here, divide it by 58, equals 0 and this is remainder. Then you take all these remainders, you take the last remainder and place it over here then 36, 39, and 30. These are the remainder values. This is the base 58 symbol chart. I have explained this in the previous video. I will not do this again. What we are going to do next is use the remainder values and find the corresponding character. So these are our remainder values. And we have to look up the remainder values in the base 58 symbol chart. If you have done this, then get base 58 encoded equals pdgx. You can check this if you click on this link. If you select this link, converter, source encoding, select text and convert to base58. If you enter the word cat, c-a-t, as you can see, pdgx. So let's try another example. We want to base58 encode the word 28a. I write down the characters 28a. These are the corresponding ASCII decimal values. The value 0, 1, 2 again refers to the index positions 0, 1, and 2. If you calculate this equation, you will get this value, and this value, and this value. If you add these three values, you will get this value. The word 28a in decimal representation is this value. You can use the same tool to validate this. 28a. Now select the decimal representation. This is the decimal representation of the string 28a. And this is the same as what we have calculated. 28a decimal representation is this value. You take this value and divide it by 58. Equals this value and this is its remainder. You take this value you divide it by 58 again, equals this value, and this is its remainder. Again, you take this value and divide it by 58, equals this value, and this is its remainder. Take this value, you divide it by 58, equal 0, and 16 is its remainder. The value 16 is over here, the value 50 is over here, the value 21 is over here, the value 23 is over here. These are the remainder values. Again, you take these remainder values and look up the remainder values in the base58 symbol chart. And if you have done this, then 288 base58 encoded is the same as HSNQ. Again, let's check it. Select converter, select text, enter 28A, and select base58, HSNQ. That's correct. 